everybody it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you are new in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I coped with my stillbirth and just the tips that I did that helped me through this now this is not a tips and tricks on how to cope this is just the things that I did that helped me personally and I hope that maybe they can help you um, but like I said it's just how I coped um, so we're gonna get right into it the first thing I did was let myself cry and anytime anywhere in the car sitting at home anytime I just let myself feel it and cope with that because don't when you bottle it up it, it hurts more actually so let it out and cry and I did that often I still do that that's not something I ever I still cry about it so let I let myself cry, so if you want, let yourself cry. Another thing that I did was I reached out for help, and this was I talked to my mom and my sister and just family members, uh, anybody who's been through the same thing. I uh, started therapy again, I started going to a therapist for it and trying to find ways to cope uh, that way, and Bobby and I went together to a support group. We only went once, it wasn't for stillbirth, it was for loss, so a lot of the people there had lost sisters, brothers, wives, husbands, children, at that to that extent, so of all ages. And we went only once, but it helped tremendously just to hear other people's stories, because there was a woman there who did lose a niece who was an infant, and that's so heartbreaking. So hearing their stories, it was really nice to have another input from other people of different things, and to tell our story. and. I think that that helped really well so if you did just go through loss they do recommend looking through like online and in your area for different support groups because I, I think they are really beneficial for some people another thing that I did was to find something to look forward to and for me that was planning a vacation so when I was pregnant Bobby and I had planned to actually go to Florida for like a baby moon but we lost Mason and I remember in the hospital I said I think that we should go and this was the cup like the day after he said you know I really think that it would help you if we went and I said absolutely because I love going away and it really gets my mind off things and one thing that I love to do as a pastime is plan vacations so we had planned to go to Florida and we went and it helped for me tremendously and a tip that I can give anyone is if you're going through it and this is something you think you could do um, plan a vacation anywhere it could be a couple days away out of town and I mean it could be within driving distance I would have been perfectly fine going up the road for a little bit or something simple too so don't take it as oh I can't afford a vacation like a huge week 10 day long vacation whatever it may be but plan something small a getaway with your partner to do something for the two of you because it's good to remember that you're in this together and you're both coping so it's definitely worth something trying something so have something to look forward to no matter what that would be for you though so anything that you would look forward to this one kind of ties into the last one it's do things that make you happy so if you can't go away do find things that make you happy do your hobbies uh, no matter what that went at that point I loved coloring and puzzles and stuff so I was just doing things that made me happy I was going out I was spending time with friends and family and just doing things that made me happy <laughs> the next thing I did was find things to make you laugh and smile and this is hard when you're going through it but I remember that I wouldn't laugh because I felt bad I felt guilty for being happy because I just lost my baby and that is so wrong and you shouldn't feel that way so it's find happiness and smile and laugh let yourself laugh because those moments will really stand out there are moments with Bobby where him and I within the week after we were laying in bed and we would be watching something on YouTube and him and I would just laugh and I remember these moments because they were what made the moments that made it bright in the, that saddest time of my life that was something that was uplifting and laugh just laugh this is another one is do things with your partner so it dates uh, go out spend time with friends too but do a lot of things together and spend this time together uh, make plans and just try and get through it so it's spending a lot of time with your partner is what I did him and I would go out and eat dinner or we would order in and just stay in bed and it helped a lot just to be with him 
and he helped me through it and I helped him through it and I think that's a great thing to do. And the last thing that I did was stay busy and that is work. I got back to work and I found things to do all the time and this kind of all ties together but it's staying busy and it really really helps and that's anything. If you have it in you to clean the house and go out and go grocery shopping, it's staying busy because with time it does get better and it does get easier and it's passing that time because in the beginning it's really really hard to think that there's anything else and that you'll ever get over it but you do staying busy helps it really does help and after you let yourself have that time in bed and upset but after some time when you're ready get up get out and keep yourself busy and just know that it is hard and you will be okay. You will be able to get through this, no matter, it might take some time, it will take time, but you'll be able to be okay sometime. And you will be okay. And I can't stress that enough, that it's okay. And you will be okay. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know your story. Um, feel free to DM me on Instagram. The link is in the description. Uh, if you're going through this and you need someone to talk to, I'm here. I'm more than happy to listen. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload, I upload a video. And I really, really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.